Hello, my dear friends. My name is Valentin Uvarov, and I'd like to express my gratitude to the organizers of this science festival. And let me to congratulate you with the 59th anniversary of the first manned space flight. Today's presentation will be dedicated to the space experiment. What is a space experiment? A space experiment is a set of interconnected operations, manipulations, and observations used to gather scientific information about the analyzed object, phenomenon, or a technical system being under controlled conditions, carried out under spaceflight conditions, wake of zero gravity, high altitude, on board in pressurized sections and on the outer surface, or near spacecraft. Today, we will talk about space experiments which are conducted on board of International Space Station. What is this International Space Station? International Space Station is designed for global observation and diagnostics. On orbit laboratories are an unrivaled environment for performing long scientific research and experiments. Technological tests, educational, humanitarian, and commercial projects under microgravity conditions. So, what is exactly ISS? What, what is it for? ISS serves for development and testing of promising technologies. It is a unique research laboratory which is now 20 years of interrupted space flight. And on this slide, number five, you see aims and objectives for using uh, International Space Station. Scientific and applied usage of ISS. It includes fundamental research and experiments, developing new space technologies for further space exp exploration, and it is also solving practical tasks. Experiments on board of ISS are divided in some major areas. First of all, it is human health. Human health mes uh, means methods and, uh, and tools which can help prevent, diagnose and treat diseases within on Earth healthcare. It also serves to de for development of technologies for in-space production of ultra-pure substances, biological and, me and medicines vaccines, drugs, and strains. So, there are space experiments for Earth observation. They, they include new methods and equipment for remote sensing, monitoring the atmosphere, land and oceans, which contribute to the study of natural resources and, and environmental phenomena. Space weather effects, improving the forecast of natural disasters and their Harbingers, earthquakes, climate change, etc. A great set of experiments are dedicated for education and it includes education in popular scientific projects, school lessons from space, urging young people to study exact scientists, sciences. <clears throat> so, let me say a few words about human health experiments. So what are the major research object objectives? Health support during long ISS tenuous experiments for future flights to other planets, adaptation to, adaptation to space flight conditions. And what are the major results? The results are the following. Fundamental data on human like physiology in space, adaptation for space conditions is individual, risk assessment, and mitigation should be personalized as well. Methods and equipment for medical examination, prevention and treatment. Numerous, numerous patents in the fields of diagnostic monitoring and other countermeasures where they resulted in the experiments on board of ISS. Biology and biotechnology. What are the research objectives? First of all, it is developing basic technologies for manufacturing, biological and the micro, microgravity conditions. What are the major results? Fundamental data on biological process in space and environment. Investment projects for using new space bacterial 
and fungi stimulate to produce vaccine, medicines, stimulators for plant growth, and oil biogradation. And uh, there are very many experiences which are held to explore new materials and processes. That means uh, that experience include crystal growth, new materials and structures, physics of burning and synthesis, liquids, phase transitions, low temperatures under microgravity conditions. So, for example, there is a crystallized experiment uh, dedicated to studying the physics of protein crystallization under microgravity conditions. Here on the slide number 12, you see the major directions of the Earth observation experiments. That includes space experience in the field of Earth remote sensing and geographics, study of near Earth outer space, monitoring the Earth climate, space weather, atmosphere, land and oceans for better understanding of natural resources, and oceans and, ec and ecological phenomena, conducting the research that improves the forecast of natural disasters, earthquakes, climate change, etc searching for reliable and very reliable indicators of catastrophic seismic events with the aim of developing new methods for forecasting earthquakes and other calamities. Human presence on board YSS allows for real-time observation of Earth surfaces, events and transmitting collecting data. And this festival, Science Festival, did it is majorly dedicated to the education. And so there are very many experiments about RSS, which had, includes educational experiments. It means scientific and educational experience, as well as taping lessons in space, is an important part of research activity on Russian orbital segment. The aim of this educational project is to activate to actively engage children and young people in scientific research. Some of the educational experiments as follows. Radio scarf, shadow beacon, physical образование, etc. Here you see the configuration of the IS, ISS space station. As of September the year 2016, so, uh, if you'd like to see uh, the ex today's configuration, I think you will look it through through web, and uh, especially it would be interesting that uh, a few days ago a new team of astronauts joined those who are on board of ISS. So. What is the International Space Station uh, if we say about this organizational structure? The ISS is a manned orbital station used as a multi-purpose research complex. And now ISS is a joint international pro project of 14 countries. That includes U United States of America, Russia, Japan, Canada, and the members of the European Space Agency. When we talk about space experiments, these experiments are include experiments with plants and also some extra vehicle experiments. For example, during the extra vehicle activity, when cosmonauts in the year 2014 were taking probes outside the surface of ISS, they collected some samples of substances which proved which lately were examined and it occurred that uh, there are some samples of uh, planktons from different parts of ocean and it proves that there is some interchange between the earth and space and so uh, 
when I talk about experiments. Let me say a few words about what is required to start an experiment. First of all, it is to get an idea. An experiment starts as an idea or a hypothesis, a proposal for proving something. The experiment ideas <coughs> concealed by research are frequently just a few combinations of already known methods and techniques which are assumed to yield a new desired outcome. So, you have an idea what you have to do next. Next, you have to file a request. An experiment request should state the name, aims, and objective of the experiment, methods used to, re to register results, the list of required equipment, and its specification. So, when we talk about the space experiment, it means that you have to know all experiments stage scheme. And it's not a very simple scheme because usually from this filing, uh, filing a request or having an idea, you have to, to do a lot of job. First of all, you have to receive a decision from the scientific and technical advisory board of Roscosmos we should evaluate the possibility to conduct this experiment on board OSS. You have to write the documentation. Then, with this documentation, you apply for to include this experiment in the into the long-term experiment of the scientific research on board OSS. Then, after that, you have to write equipment documentation. After improvement of this equipment documentation, you have to start manufacturing the equipment. After you manufacture this equipment, you have to pass comprehensive text testing, which will confirm that your experiments and your equipment meet all the safety requirements on both of ISS. Then came another very important stage, it is delivered on board of the ISS. Once the equipment is delivered, under the special program and schedule, the cosmonauts will conduct the experiments. So these experiments could be conducted once and then the results would be delivered to the, to the surface of Earth. Or sometimes this is a long-term experiment which are conducted during yeah, several years. So when these results are delivered to the Earth, the scientists who first has this idea, they have to analyze all the results and to, to prepare the report. So here you have some pictures which gives you an idea what equipment, what kind of equipment is used. Usually experiments are conducted with the help of special equipment built to solve problems which arise in the research field. And this equipment has to meet the corresponding requirements. First of all, the safety, and then this, uh, this equipment should, should be uh, should be very small and should meet all the requirements, safety requirements. So conducting experiments. The experiments is conducted on both OSS and means that it, it could be conducted by during one flight or during different flights of different cosmonauts. Then, when we talk about uh, educational experiments, here you have equipment for the experiment named physics education or physical образование. This is a purely educational experiment. What is it, this physics education experiment? The experiment covers three sections of the school physics course. The devices used in this experiment, this is uh, the fly, flying source, uh, 
autolysis, which help to study rotational and surveying motion in zero gravity. The study object of the LT section is an ellipsoid solving and rotating in three space of the ISS compartment. The driving force you being being a fence. Which is very which is very interesting that school children are involved in all process of preparing this space experiment. Some of the experiment participants are Moscow high school students which study in secondary school and uh, these students were involved in all stages of equipment design and experimental preparation. They visited the installation of Biotech SIS, a research and production company which produces research equipment for space experiment in the field of biotechnology, biology and education. The young visitors learned the main principle of designing, pro designing, producing and testing the research equipment used in the Russian orbital segment on board ISS. So, Biotech SIS Research Laboratory and you see in this laboratory a miniature glove box used for experiment with liquid is shown to the young guest. So it means they try to imitate this experiment on the ground of Earth. So they also participate in testing and you see this testing unit. Uh, while at the biotech sees the school children learned more about the rules of conducting deliver acceptance testing and assessment control which are very important stages of experiment so the children also watch the acceptance of control procedures for onboard equipment uh, this is a uh, they study all the process of preparing the space experiment. A session of water uh, segment, the phase separation experiment. So uh, then I say a few words about uh, Earth observation experiment uh, named EarthCam. EarthCam is a space experiment, and the idea of the EarthCam program was conceived by Dr. Sally Wright, the first American woman in space, who wanted to share their, her impressions and the views seen from the orbit with children. EarthCam allows children from all over the world to remotely control the camera installed on board of ISS. They can choose the Earth's surface area they are interested in and send requests to the ISS by internet. At the ASS, the camera controlled by a computer takes pictures of a requested area and sends them to the Earth. The resulting unique pictures can be used within edu uh, educational process or by children themselves. So, some, some details about this Earth cam space experiment. So photographic images from space can be obtained within the following equipment. Artificial Earth satellites, interplanetary unmanned space probes, long-term orbital stations, manned spacecraft. The first images from space were obtained by with rockets in 1946. First images from artificial satellites in 1960 and the first pictures from the main spacecraft were done by Yuri Gagarin in 1961. Uh, space imagery has a number of obvious, obvious advantages over aerial photography. First of all, these images are taken by high altitude with a high, higher movement velocity. They cover large areas. Rest shooting can be performed during the same flight this shows for the study of the dynamic of a periodic and episodic phenomenon in nature, as well as the various manifestations of economic activity. 
so uh, here I'd like to say a few words about OSCAM within the Russian space program. How it is, was started. On October 28th, the year 2013, NASA and Roscosmos signed an agreement on joint operation in the EarthCam experiment on board of ISS. And in July to the year 2015, EarthCam was included in the long term program of scientific and applied experiment on board of ISS. And the Russian experiment for EarthCam is provided by Moscow Aviation Institute. Here on this slide, number 60. 36, you see the website of EarthCam. And entering this website, you can easily uh, create your account. This is an important notice. Registration is to be performed by supervisor, school teacher, not by all students individually. S students can access the website by using the mission account for their project. All, all members of EarthCam website including the registration form, are presented by only in English. So you see on this slide, the major, part, the major parts of these experiments, and you can also have more and more detailed information if you enter this Mission Operations Center OSCAM. So to start this experiment, first you have to file an image request. Enter mis uh, Mission Operations Center by typing an account, name and password and go to image request. Choose the desired orbits, place the mark on the map in the desired area to set the coordinates. Make sure that all the required fields, code word, orbit, time, latitude, Longitude, location are filled and click re request image. So, Russian children uh, very actively participate in this OSCAM experiment. Currently, OSCAM is, is used in schools in Korolev and Moscow, as well as the uh, uh, use ast astronomical observatory of the Iskatel Youth Academy of Sciences in Simferopol and Crimea. So what is all done? As I already mentioned, all space experiments are done to have ex experience results. We, we have all seen the miraculous tools used in the Science, science fiction films used to heal injuries and even prolong use. Such devices have already become a reality. Also, they are not yet widely used. Their benefits for now are only available to the lucky few. But in the foreseeable future, as scientists say, these instruments might, might be found in the medicine cabinet of every household on Earth. And, uh, I'd like to say a few words about very interesting experiments and it is, say, uh, a homework for you. The experiment is called 3D Bioprinter. This is an experiment uh, to bioprint by the method of biofabrication, 3D biofabrication, tissues and organs in the future. And so these experiments was successful, successfully conducted two years ago and you you have a possibility to know about this experiment if you look it through in your in, in internet so experiment results the experiment results they serve to improve life not only on during long main space flight, but they are used to create new te technologies on us. So I propose you to think about and uh, to think about new ideas, then to start filling your phone and to start 
your own experiment and maybe you will have some new great ideas and if you'd like to have some more information you may easily ask questions thank you very much